Oh, look at this pretty picture. Hunters and gatherers just put paint in their mouth and blew it on the wall. Can you see what's on this? Let me get back a little bit. So you see what, I mean, uh, ex do you see the depth in this? I'm trying to hold it as still as possible. Can you see all this? This stuff, there's a cross back here. Like they're walking out of a fire. Look at it. And see, maybe these are the giants. And these are the grasshopper. That's me down there. See, I'm... See, okay, you guys, this way. I'll lead you. Okay. See? All right. Now, take a look at this. Is that not unbelievable? Now, if you carefully look up here, I'll hold still. Doesn't it look like they're, the creatures are walking, walking, they're walking. See their heads? No, sorry. Heads, 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 heads. They're kind of walking this way, coming into this dimension. One particular thing I want shape, it's taking for, look at, it looks like little tiny people are walking. Here comes Melody, 250 feet tall, man. Told ya. This, this particular shape, keep that in mind. Okay. Now, I'll read the caption. Pictograph Seminole Canyon State Park, Texas. Produced between 2,000 and 8,000 years ago. These paintings on the wall of a rock shelter may have originally had a specific, oh, I'm sorry, specific religious purpose. There are pictorial symbols of humans, animals, warfare, dancing, and other rituals. I don't think this is dancing. I don't see how they can even get dancing out of this. I mean, look at that. What the heck is that? There is no way. Hunter and gatherers have all this imagination. You know, some of the best artists in the world probably couldn't produce this. There's codes in there, people. But I do want you to read this guy here and this shape, this, this square shape. Look at they're walking. They're walking out of the, look at, doesn't look giants out of the, over the horizon. Now look at this. We're not done on this page because this is, when I was looking at the petroglyphs, I mean, crop circles, I could peel them off the page. Now, this is what this says up here. The ancient petroglyphs. Okay, but I just want you to see this one. It's too hard to hold it. Okay, I'm going to hold it right like there. So I'm going to show you a trick with a hole. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a little pinwheel there. Native American pictographs are ancient form of rock art found mainly in the present day southwestern USA, United States of Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. Big giant land. Symbols and images were either scratched, oh really, carved, yeah, and pecked, oh really, into the darkened surface of the basin. And the sandstone, and, oh wait, pecked into the darkened surfaces of the basalt. And sandstone canyons caves and boulders up to 12,000 years ago, revealing the lighter colored stone underneath. The specific meaning of, I want you to listen to the specific words of what the, how they put this. The specific meanings of many of these images have been lost in time, but in general they thought that they represent historical events such as the arrival of the Spanish. Really? 12,000 years ago? See how, see, you see? Or, see, the arrival of the Spanish, or just day-to-day -day life like hunting and fishing and relationships between Native Americans, peoples and natures, religions and ceremonies, beliefs, prayers, elements, or warfare, here we go, or mythology, creatures, and stories. For Native American tribes of the Southwest, petroglyphs have been a vital part of their environment. 
since the time of creation and are still considered significant symbols revealing their ancient histories, intricate societies, and strong beliefs. These are codes. Now, for the first time, I've seen the Fremont Indians right here. Okay, um, news, this is newspaper rock. Okay, I'm going to hold it up like this. Because here's the secret. I'm sorry to jerk this around like this. Let's try to read. I'm going to show you a secret. How these codes, how you might, I mean, I'm not going to say a secret, but it could be. Now, while I was peeling the pet, uh, crop circles up off the ground, okay, you see this picture here. These, some of these characters could rise up, some could lay flat in your vision that you're seeing. But if you let your eyes get lazy or something for, see how these dark things are? See, they think this is no, this is high tech here. There's a pinwheel. Okay, I'm going I'm to hold it down here. Okay, look at little people. Look at all them stars. Is that not a story? Look at them feet. Look at these things. Now, oh, what would that dot be there for? Oh, just day-to-day -day life? This don't look like day-to-day -day life. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to raise the book up. It might not work because it has to get in the right light. But when you start going down like this, see that, that horse? Doesn't that horse kind of just start standing up on its own? See? Oops. Okay, I'm going to try it down. This is how you got to look at him. Oh, I'm sorry, not the glare. You can do this yourself once you once you get the... See, when you start putting him in different light. See, this horse looks like it's really standing up. And see, how do I know these guys aren't in motion motion this could be a clock or something here i mean see when you lay it down like this you start raising up off the paper is what i'm saying the more prominent things are prominent it looks more 3d right okay now we've all heard of the rabbit hole right we're going we're all going down the rabbit hole where the hell did that come from i thought that was alice in wonderland I was sitting here, I wasn't even looking at this story, because I was like, oh, all right. You know, for a bunch of hunter and gatherers, and they just, you know, uh, dig in the dirt all day long, and then they go to sleep, and then they have all these uh, dreams I've never had before. <laughs> I mean, how can your mind even think this? Okay, look at this. I thought I was an Indian. That is a rabbit. Or a rabbit man. It's just like, okay, I'm going to read the story. Above a Sioux Hair Myth by James Dot Jack. I want to see how he spells his name. It's all, it's little, nothing capital. James, and he has a dot, Jack. All this stuff has meaning. We have to keep this in mind. In the legend, Hare enters the cave and the Paha Wanahati and is swallowed by the monster. The hare cuts open the monster's stomach to escape. In a story. <laughs> See what I mean? In a story. A rabbit man goes into a hole. See, this is all it's got to say. Goes in a hole, cuts a monster's gut open, and escapes. The wording on this Okay, well, let's look at this. I mean, can you imagine this? This is so... Look at it. It looks like... A, you see this? Is it? Is it like coming out like this? They're expecting me to believe. Look at it. See, I'm looking for the star. It's always about the star. Those look like dudes just walk coming in. And look at all this. All the, do you know the dimensional colors of this? I mean, look at it. Doesn't it look like it's a, a picture you can look right through? I'll, I'll move my hand. Now look at it. I'll hold still. This is so freaking cool, man. Or is that hell? Oh my God, is that hell? Come on in. The party's great. 
Look at that. Hold still, so maybe... Really? These are hunter-gatherers. I found a star. Well, it looks like a star. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Just your... Does that not look like it's coming out to get us? What the heck? Look how them tongs on top look like they're peeling out. Look at the colors of this. And they're trying to tell us. Look at this. I mean, the more you look at it, Is this hell? Oh, look at Mr. Devil Horns himself back there. My God. Well, there you have it. They're trying to tell me that these guys just spit paint on the wall and made this painting. Let's check this out one time. I mean, if you start looking at it, look how dimensional that looks. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I had no idea.